Hello guys, and here we are on Feed the Beast. Well, this is just a uh, creative test world, because I have figured out a solution to a very big problem on Feed the Beast. EU loss with cables. As you see, we have a solar panel here, all nice and active during the day. And then we've got our bat box over here, which is not charging at all. And that's because of the electrical resistance in these wires. The electrical resistance in these wires, basically, it takes the one EU per tick that this solar panel is outputting, and it kills it before it can ever get to this bat box. Now, yes, I am aware that if you do something like this, you can, in fact, get energy through here by sending it, th by sending it through like that, but you're still going to lose energy because the cable still takes its cut out of the current. As I can show you, if I just move this over one, destroy this, because with insulated copper cable like this, well, it takes a cut out of, as you can see, one EU per... Well, every time it sends EU down this cable, it will, re it will take one away from that. So as you can tell, this is gaining 31 at a time instead of the 32. And that's a problem. It's, it's less efficient when your machines are losing energy like that. So there are some... Uh, well, here are some other cables first. Here's the HV cable, four times insulated, and just two of these, and you're already not getting any power. Now, of course, for solar panels, that's not a huge problem because you're not using HV cable with these little solar panels, but I digress, it's, it's still annoying. And even with gold cables, you'd still lose a bunch of energy off of it. And even with these awesome fiberglass cables, you're still you only have 40 blocks until you start to lose energy. As you can see, no energy there, energy there. So, as you might have noticed, I have found a solution to this problem. Here we have a solar panel during the daytime, outputting 1 EU per tick. And down here we've got our bat box. As you can see, it is gaining at 32 EU in increments of 32 uh, for the uh, EU. And that's because I don't have any cable connecting these, I just have transformers. Just low voltage transformers. As you can tell, you just line them up like this. You stick the, your uh, solar panel there, you stick your bat box down here, and you gain the EU with absolutely no power loss due to any amount of distance at all through transformers. So instead of bothering to make any of uh, these glass fiber cables, well, I mean, you still make some of them, but... For any kind of long-distance power transmission, I highly recommend low-voltage transformers. Because these things, well, first off, something you should know that they do is that they, send, is that they do send power in packets of 32 EU at a time, instead of just the 1 EU from the solar panel. So energy will arrive in packets of 32. But that's, that's really not a problem. I mean... It's the same energy, it just gets there at different times. Unlike down here, where the cables actually take their cut of power out of the, uh, out of the 32 packet. So you only get like 31 at a time for just 5 copper cable. Here you'll get your standard 32 at a time. And it goes through all of these transformers. And honestly, I could have just extended this thing forever. It doesn't matter with transformers based on distance. You get no power loss. So that is why I highly recommend for any kind of long distance power transmission, just line up a whole bunch of transformers. I mean, they're more expensive, but honestly, I think it's really awesome how you can do that. It lets you set things up like uh, a power plant in a city to actually transmit your power farther away from the power station. Because, you know, how it is right now, you basically have to generate power wherever you're going to use it. And that's just, that's annoying, that's not how it works in real life. I, I greatly, I'm happy that you're allowed to do this. Now, I just hope Greg doesn't, uh, the guy who makes Greg Tech doesn't nerf this. Because he thinks it's cheap or something. Because honestly, I think this is reasonably well balanced. I mean, dealing with these transformers can be a little bit annoying. And they are more expensive to craft than these, uh, regular cables. And... Really, I mean, it's not breaking the game if you can transmit power you generate in one place to another place. Because, I mean, if you bother to make a whole stacks upon stacks of transformers, you should just be able to, you know, cut off some EU off your power bill. 
So, that's all I wanted to say. I hope this doesn't get nerfed or fixed or whatever. Because, honestly, this is cool. So, this has been Atomic. I will see you guys next time. I can't wait to see what kind of cool things you guys make using these transformer power lines. I hope this isn't well known already, because if it is, that's just going to be kind of awkward. Okay, so, I will see you guys next time.